For some reason, I was born obsessed with finding out the truth of everything. Ironically, I recently discovered that my life is all about being surrounded by liars, some of them pathological. This applies to my family and friends and everyone else who comes into my life. If that wasn't enough, I was born into a socialist system that was entirely founded and based on lies, and now halfway through my life, it seems that I'm heading again towards another leftist utopian system entirely based on deception and duplicity. What's more, it seems that out of all the previous human installations, this one appears to be entirely founded on lies. If you've been watching 434 videos for some time, you know that I became an unwilling expert in these lies and their detection, as it seems that it is one of my main lessons I have to go through here in this reality. Very early in my life, I came to a simple conclusion that lying is one of the main characteristics of being a human, and it's not surprising, given that everything that the establishment has to offer to us is a naive fairy tale forcefully shoved down our throats. You can't escape it, you're either lied to, or you're forced to lie yourself. What I also learned is that despite of our reality being based entirely on historical and scientific lies, most humans have a very universal and healthy approach to lying and we unanimously recognize the same principles. It's clear when reading ancient and religious texts that deep down in our DNA we have a moral compass and that we have no problems knowing what is true and what value truth holds in our society. This subject is incredibly important because not only are lies destructive to our personal life, but also they are responsible for all the crimes in the world. Recently I've had some important discussions with machine elves regarding lying individuals and the entities helped me a lot in dealing with them. So in this video I want to talk to you about the definition of lying, how the lies work, what the dangers are, what method the entities offer to me to recognize a lie, the reasons why we're lying, and at the end I want to offer some solutions to this problem. I've always been honest with you and I made it perfectly clear that I need your support to continue uploading 434 videos. I wanted to let you know that I'm currently working transforming 434 into something new you will love and enjoy. That's why you don't see that many videos here. This will change soon, but for now I need your help with financing the next step in spreading the 434 awareness. You can join Patreon or Subscribestar or you can donate through PayPal, Cash App, Bank Transfer or Bitcoin. You can also buy merchandise or if you want to talk to me, use the consultation and support service. All links in the video description. Thank you for your help. The reason I'm making this video is that recently something very unusual happened. As I mentioned, I came to a conclusion that my life is filled with liars and for the past year I've been dealing with someone who is somewhat of a pathological liar but denies having a problem. And as I tried to help them, something really interesting happened. In my dreams, I started getting messages pointing out in detail the areas of this person's life where the lies were hiding. When I asked about these messages, I quickly learned that they were always accurate and I realized that these are the same messages I usually get from machine elves. So of course my next step was taking mushrooms and asking the entities for help, which I did. It was the first time that during a trip I concentrated only on one person and as it was important to me, the entities didn't talk to me about anything else but revealed to me in detail most lies and inconsistencies that I had missed talking to the person. This eventually turned into a 10 month ordeal that turned me into a detective trying to understand what it is that I'm dealing with. This forced me to analyze my life and find out why all my friends and family members lied to me. This led to me spending a lot of time thinking about lies, looking at this subject both from the physical and metaphysical perspective, as this clearly is one of my earthly lessons that I decided to engage in in this reality. And that's why I want to share with you everything that I learned so that you can protect yourself from this dangerous and toxic habit that many people have and I want to start by explaining the mechanism behind lying. Lying is an acquired habit. We're all born honest, but as we go through life we become liars. We become mistrustful and unwilling to be understood and to understand. When walking along the earthly path, lying becomes a safety mechanism to avoid engagement in collaboration and partnership with others, both in society and in the relationship. We become skillful masters of falsifying reality as there is nothing more dangerous and destructive than lying. No matter what excuse we use, there is nothing noble about lying and it's usually a byproduct of vanity, malice or simply being a coward. Lying is all about ignoring the other person's feelings, intelligence and about overestimating our own questionable logic and the short-lived nature of a lie. How do we do it? We lie to ourselves first because we reject our true selves in order to fight for acceptance and love. This is where everything starts and we come up with excuses that allow us to silence our conscience 
and quickly we can't tell the difference between lies and truth within ourselves. Then the mechanism of putting on masks develops as it is easier to lie when we pretend to be somebody else. Very often it's difficult to distinguish which one is a result of which. People quickly develop a variety of mechanisms of lying, thinking that only because something isn't an obvious lie, it's not deceptive. Yet, it's not the words that are responsible for lying, it's the intent to deceive, and that's why excuses, omissions, and silence are still lies. A liar subconsciously always knows they're a liar, especially when the lie helps their ego and makes them look better in the eyes of others. When people tell a story and they leave out the most important part, that's a lie by omission. A half-truth is a whole lie. No matter what they tell themselves, that person is still a liar. So why do we lie? Because that's what our reality is about. For the first time in human history, it seems that this civilization is found and sustained purely by lies, and when the establishment sets the tone and acts as an example for everybody as to how to behave, the whole society will lie too. In fact, it's now an unavoidable mechanism required to live in society as that's when even the market and the financial mechanisms are based on. It's been discovered a long time ago that the bigger the lies, the easier it will be for everybody to fall for them, and today the lies that our existence on earth is based on are so huge that it is almost impossible for an average person to accept that their whole life is based on fake science and propaganda. The level of delusion society is kept in today is unparalleled with anything in the history of humankind. In the past, people just didn't know, but today they have no room for the truth because all they know is a lot of lies. Some of the lies are hidden, but some of them are very simple to notice in our everyday lives, like advertising or credit cards. Yet nobody understands that they are keeping this society oblivious to the truth of how their lives work and how they are controlled. In fact, this mechanism is so embedded into our modern lifestyle that we support the oppressors and victimize those who want to open our eyes to the truth. The interesting fact is that all of this exists not because of those lies, but because of those who eagerly believe in the lies. And what you will find behind every major lie is fear. Those who deceive us and those who let themselves be deceived are afraid of other people's opinion, of what they don't know and what they're trying to hide. A lie has no environment in which it can exist unless the truth is feared and considered a threat. And that fear grows with every lie we tell. Lying also has a lot to do with the balance between egocentrism and altruism because we engage in fake flattery telling people what they want to hear when we need something from them. But if you want to be of service to somebody, you have to tell them the truth to help them. You become a liar when you want to protect your ego from the painful truth. Now I'm going to tell you how to recognize a liar. It's actually quite easy because when someone tries to hide the truth, things won't make sense. You need to pay attention to little details and repeated observable patterns of illogical behavior. You have this mechanism in your DNA and we are very good at seeing when someone tries to deceive us. When it happens, you will hear a lot of excuses like it was not a conscious lie, that they don't remember, or that you didn't ask about it. You will see their logic failing until it turns into a complete farce as a liar eventually will have to face a choice of either telling the truth or making up an even bigger lie. This will be accompanied by uncalled for aggressive behavior where you're likely to be attacked for daring to confront them. Remember that when you meet someone who does it professionally or pathologically, you're dealing with a mentally disturbed person. It's important to remember that nobody has a good enough memory to be good at lying. If you leave enough time and ask about the same lie again, you'll hear a different story or some details will change. That's how you know. Remember that when you catch them lying about small things, that means there are bigger lies hidden from you. It's that mechanism that matters and if you detect it, it means it's being applied to everything else. Listen to them when they get angry or drunk. This is when you can expect the truth and then you can compare it to their story when they're in their normal emotional state. Remember that if you think you would lie being in their position, it's highly probable that you're being lied to now. Pay attention to the truth that has some parts omitted or removed from it, as liars usually don't like lying and they rather hide things. But with today's technology, it is almost impossible to be a successful liar. If you're suspecting someone of lying and you want to learn the truth and you want to be 100% sure that they're hiding something, schedule a chat with me and I can teach you how to do this. You'll be shocked how this world makes it almost impossible to hide anything. If it's something you would like to do yourself, I can tell you now about a method that Machine Elf taught me a few years ago. 
When they told me how to do this, I was surprised to learn after some time that this closely resembles a technique used by CIA agents in interrogations. It's a bit different, but this is how it goes. Ask your suspected liar to sit on a chair in the middle of an empty room. You need to have their permission to do it, and it would be ideal if you could record a video of them on a phone or a camera as you both talk to each other. The idea is to observe a subtle change in behavior. You need to have a full view of their body and you need to concentrate on their body language and certain body parts, especially eyes, arms, hands and feet. You need to have a long list of open questions prepared, questions that cannot be answered with a simple yes or no, and questions that require constructing a more or less elaborate answer. Here's an example. If you want to ask them if they've been at someone's house yesterday, you don't ask them that question directly. What you do is you ask them questions like, when was the last time you've seen X? How was your evening yesterday? What have you been doing after work? And so on. The idea is to catch them creating a fake answer that triggers a lot of mechanisms that show up in their behavior and cause a stress reaction. Lying is a creative process that requires a lot of mental effort and energy, and it clearly shows when compared to normal behavior. That's why you need to hide these occasional difficult questions in between many innocent, closely related questions that are guaranteed to produce a truthful answer you will see the difference between them using their memory and fabricating answers. You will need a lot of questions, and the longer you do it, the more likely they are to, at some point, lose the accuracy and logic of their answers, the composure, or they will get impatient and angry. Once you're finished, review the recorded video paying attention to the position of their feet, frequency of blinking, what they do with their hands, observe changes in fluency of speech and stiffening of the muscles. Again, it requires a lot of knowledge about body language, but schedule a chat with me if you want me to teach you how to read it. I have no idea why outer dimensional psychedelic entities would know the techniques to interrogate a lying individual on Earth, but this method works. You would need to deal with a highly skilled and educated liar to know how to behave during such an interrogation. There is also one more simple method that you can use, although it's a little bit more expensive. You can ask them to take a lie detection test offered by some companies like private detective offices. They used to be done with the help of polygraphs that back in the day would produce questionable results, but with the new technology today, these digital devices offer results close to 90% accuracy and you can rely on them. Again, it is something I can prepare you for as the number of questions is strongly limited and it needs to be done in a smart manner because in this case they need to be simple closed yes or no questions. So why is lying such a big deal? Let's talk about the dangers of being a liar. One instance of being caught lying destroys one's reputation and dignity forever. You won't be believed ever again and it won't matter if you're telling the truth or not. Your reputation is very often everything you have and once it's gone, it's gone for good. The lie is almost never worth its price. You might get ahead in life lying, but you won't be able to recover from the consequence of lying. Lies can take care of the present moment, but they will destroy your future. It's important to remember that sooner or later all lies are discovered and everybody gets caught, as truth has this amazing property of revealing itself effortlessly with time. Another problem is that once you get in the habit of obfuscating the truth, it will become a gateway mechanism to fake everything else. If you do it once, it will be very easy to do it again, and a liar usually stays a liar for life. This turns you into a fugitive in your own existence. Every lie is a poison that's slowly sipping inside, making your fears grow stronger. When lying, most people do not take into account how big of a challenge it is to guard their fragile integrity, as for every lie one tells, there must be 10 new ones created to protect it. Lying is only half as bad as the necessity to have to stay true to the lie forever. Everything that's based on a lie has the tendency to fall apart easily and quickly, as the liar himself very often falls into his own traps. Of course, we also need to remember about the victims of lying and what they are being subjected to. When you meet a thief, they are only interested in your belongings, but a liar wants to steal pieces of your reality, taking away your trust and safety, making you question everything you experience together. That's a theft on an enormous scale. Being lied to forces you to discard people and even big parts of your life and you should never tolerate it. You will pay for it with inner shame of naivety that follows as it comes with a attached sense of guilt. Deception is very often the beginning of the end of any relationship. Can lying ever be beneficial? We could talk about lying out of love and that's a mechanism that many friends and lovers engage in when it's necessary to protect someone from pain or harm. 
But although it reduces suffering temporarily, it's still a distortion of reality and sooner or later everything will need to be corrected. This is one area in which our friends can fail us as our enemies can speak the truth effortlessly. The good thing is that in the current climate all of society is quickly growing tired of all the primitive and naive lies we're being fed by the establishment. After the great reveal of 2020 we learned that we're being lied to all the time. It's only a matter of recognizing how big the lies are and how deep they go. For a few years now I've been planning a video on truth and I think it's about time I wrote it. But for now let's finish this video with solutions and this should be fairly simple. First of all, do not lie to yourself, as that's the root cause of all the deception in the world. Being a grown-up is about not lying to oneself, and this maturing process starts with loving and accepting oneself. This can be easily achieved with psychedelics, and I made a video about it. Telling the truth to yourself and others is essential, and it's a priceless virtue that only valuable people possess. Do not expect honesty from cheap people so that you don't get disappointed, but there should be active hostility towards lying. It takes two for a lie to exist, one who lies and one who listens. You need to protect your dignity and your safety by having no mercy and no acceptance to even the slightest attempt for your loved ones to lie to you. You have to react fast and you have to make it clear that you're not going to tolerate it. You need to have respect for yourself as you don't deserve for anyone to cheapen your life by treating you like a fool. You need to surround yourself with people who value your well-being and offer you truth and honesty no matter what. That's the essential ingredients of love, joy, and hope in life. Do not settle for less. Ever. Once you allow someone to lie to you, they will do it again and again. Remember that truth, no matter how harsh or painful, is always better than the most flattering lie. And yes, they do hurt both, but the truth eventually will let you heal, while a lie will always make things worse. If there are lies that you regret telling, now is the time to come clean and get rid of this painful burden. If there's a reason to lie, there's always a bigger reason to tell the truth. The truth is one of the greatest equalizers in the world and it has the power to remove all division and separation among people, as lies are the foundation of inequality. We believe that all the conflicts in the world are caused by the battle between good and evil, but the truth is that the toughest battle in the world is between truth and lies. Love 434 this short lesson in honesty should have helped you to protect your dignity and become a better person. So on your way out, please sponsor this channel through links in the video description. Thank you for your help. Don't forget to subscribe and follow. Like this video and share it with everyone you care about. For merchandise, go to shop.b434.com. Leave your email address at news.b434.com. Visit the website of the artist and the musician I featured here. For more info or contact, visit b434.com and join 434's social media on YouTube, Facebook, BitChute, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Reddit, Discord, Telegram, VK, TikTok, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Dailymotion, and a few other ones you can see on the screen now. All links in the video description and at b434.com.